Hi everybody, thank you for watching the replay. I know it's been a while. Hi! Whoa, whoa, too zoomed in. It's still blurry. So, I haven't been on Periscope for a while and, well that's not gonna work. Hi, hello. How's it going today? I tried using my other lens, but it didn't work. So I haven't scoped in a while and I am doing well, but I wanted to come on here really quick to give kind of a mantra for today that I've been thinking about as I was cleaning the yoga studio. And so for anyone who is new here, um, hello, my name is Lisa and I usually scope about my yoga journey. And it's been a couple weeks that I haven't scoped. I just have been too busy. I haven't had a chance to. But pretty soon I will be scoping some more yoga um, teaching information that will start in June for sure. And I'll try to do some in May. But really quick, I just was cleaning the yoga studio today and thought of like a sentence that kind of stuck with me and I wanted to see if it resonated with any of you as well. And the sentence was, you make it how you take it. And in a, hey everybody, um, pretty much if you think of that phrase like you could take it a lot of different ways, but here's a couple of different ways that I realized that it's, you, you can make things, you know, good or bad. and how you take them is exactly how it's going to end up. So think about if you even had like coffee. That's a really easy place to start. So if you're gonna say somebody wants some coffee and you don't know how they take their coffee, then chances are when you make the coffee you're just gonna make it the way that you take it and then give it to them. So that's like a really 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 basic version of that sentence. However, now think about how recently I um, was given an opportunity to apply for a job. And when the my friend told me about the job, for example, she said, well, it's called a, you're making a percentage sign. <laughs> um, when she told me the name of the job, she said, well, it's called I think a secretary position, but I think that they need to change that because there's a lot of guys that do it and uh, they should just call it an aid because, you know, that's it's kind of like too feminine of a name for a position. And I, I was listening to her. She would say that and I would think, well, what's wrong technically with the word secretary? Like, you can be a male or female secretary. This job is just a job description, you know? So, we're talking about the mantra, you make it how you take it. And that's another example is that, you know, she took that, that word, secretary, and she as associated some, like, negativity almost, like, that oh only like women can be secretaries versus men and so that they should they have to call it something else if men are gonna do it and so that's how she took it and now that's what she thinks has to be um, associated with that word so maybe something that you take offensively or maybe something that you say maybe think about how some people will take it the wrong way and it's just it has nothing necessarily to do with you, it's just how it's inside of their minds. And think of that maybe if you become sensitive to certain things, it can help you through and realize that chances are, unless you're in an argument with somebody, just because somebody says something, if you take it a certain way, you probably made it a problem rather than necessarily like the person making it a problem. So. Uh, what else? Here's another example. Um, what was I going? There was one I had. Oh, okay. So I had one other example as I was cleaning the studio. Um, a few weeks ago, I periscoped at a yoga teacher uh, graduation. 
and nobody really here understands what Periscope is. And, you know, it kind of was weird, me walking around talking to myself on the camera, and I had some of my Yogi Edgies on there, so we were really chatting it up and everything. And some, one of the teachers noticed me and she's like what are you doing and so I had introduced her to Periscope and what it was all about blah 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 and so at the time I took it I made it into like an awkward thing I was like oh great like everyone thinks I'm just like weird because I'm talking to myself on my phone blah 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 the typical you know bashing that people do whenever they're in uncomfortable situations but instead I whenever that was about to happen and I was so embarrassed because she just saw me talking to myself on my phone, I instead I introduced it to her and I tried teaching her about it and explaining how it helps me connect to the yoga industry and others around the world who practice yoga. And what's really cool is that because I made it that way, then she took it as I was in the know and I understood how to use social media. And a really awesome thing happened today. That was a few weeks ago, and I haven't really talked to her since then. And I took her class today, and after class, she asked me if I would create her a Facebook page for her Thai yoga massage. And she she knew that I was into social media, and I understood like how to use it to get a message across. And so think of how based on how I made the situation that day is how she took that situation. If I would have been, if I would have allowed myself to just um, kind of like cowered away and be like, oh no, I'm just like some strange person on my phone talking um, to myself, then she probably would have not seen who I was and and we would have never even had this conversation about helping her. But because I made it into a positive situation, then she actually took that positive situation and we were able to grow from it. Exactly. So I just wanted to like put this out there because it's it's these little things sometimes that if you're able to like flip your mind and think in a different way, then you can make some of the worst situations, at least from what you used to feel were the worst situations, you can make them into opportunities to grow and actual places where you can have a positive outcome from it. Um, one last example that I can think of is whenever I show sometimes um, my pole fitness um, stuff that I do, it's yet again the make it how you take it because if you make it for yourself and you make it for yourself growing and something that's building strength and etc cetera, etc, cetera, then that's how others are going to take it. But if you um, make it negative or degrading, then that's how others will also take it. And you can find this in your relationships with people too. If you have a certain relationships with your family or your close friends or your um, intimate relationships, you pretty much make them how you take them. If you have a negative mindset going in, I think you should totally try it. It's Yoga is not feminine and actually yoga based on like really long origins in India was actually primarily a male um, sport per se. So that's yet again, this is a good example. So Nesman's one, I totally butchered that name, I'm sorry. What is your name? And so for the yoga, that's a very good example about the, you make it how you, you take it. So if you take it, that yoga is only like a feminine thing to do, then that's exactly how you're going to feel when you go into yoga. You're going to show up and you're just going to be like, oh my gosh, this isn't for me. But if you can see how some males do yoga, and actually it's very popular in um, the Eastern world, it's just somehow the Western world... I don't know why it, it doesn't pick up as much for guys. I am shocked because usually it's a lot easier for guys. 
Um, but if you can interpret it that way and say, you know, really, like, this is meant for, like, every body type, if you're talking about physical yoga, then when you show up, you're just gonna, that's exactly how you're gonna take it. You're not gonna notice, like, oh, is there more women versus men here, blah, blah, blah. And then you'll have a pleasant experience. So each time that you feel something that you don't want to feel, that's what I challenge you to think. How can you take it a different way? That way you can make your outcome into what you're actually expecting and, and wanting and looking for. Okay, so that was my little small rant. And I am really glad, Nesmans, that you were in here because, yeah, and honestly, I've had a lot of guys come on here from Periscope and they've tried yoga for the first time because I've explained similar situations to this and I've had really good feedback. They've all said that really it was, it was okay. Like it's, <laughs> it's just a thing that you can do and it's, it's like a lifestyle if you choose to do it, but it's not the end of the world. If technically you're like the only guy in class, Hey, you know, more power to you. So I definitely would suggest, um, if you have been interested in it, then do it, but don't do it just because I think you said your wife, um, wants you to do it. If it's not something that's in your heart, then like that's probably not the best way into a yoga class. But if it's like sparked your interest, then if you keep an open mind, then it will keep opening your mind. Okay. Arlen! I just kind of like wrapped up what I was saying, but Arlen, I'm so glad that you're here. If it works, you'll stick with it. Exactly. And it takes time, Nesmans, but like if you feel like it can stick, then I would suggest keep doing it. So let's recap really quick. The mantra that I just want you to think about any time that you're starting to feel something may not be going your way or you're feeling a certain way that you don't want to feel think of the mantra, you make it how you take it, and see if you can take it in a different way, interpret your situation in a different way, and by doing that, it will make that situation a completely different feeling, and something that may have been negative before, you can turn into a positive if you keep an open mind and if you really stick to it and analyze these situations instead of just going right with your brain. If your heart can open up to it, then you can make even like some really bad situations into okay, at least neutral times. Okay? So I will um, see you possibly in the next couple weeks. I'm going to try to go on to Periscope a little more often. I've been really, really busy with some work and I, I may even be getting a new job. So I will go on scope whenever my, my mind and my soul feel like they need to share. And today I just couldn't like not share this with you. So Thank you for being here, and if you found it useful then, and you have a different interpretation, then definitely share it out on Twitter, and it'll tag my name if you share it out on Twitter, and I would love to hear how you interpret it or how, you, how it helped you through a certain situation if you use the mantra um, anytime this week. I will see you later. Namaste. Love you. Bye.